Hello YouTube! Subathon continues, and up next we have two very interesting accounts for you. Both of them are a little, let's say, suboptimal. Prepare yourselves a little bit. The first account we're going to look at belongs to someone who says they've been playing for around a year and logs in every day and tries to do all the stuff they can to keep making progress. Their goals are to push up the tower, build their first Transcendence Heroes, first things you'd expect for all players to want to do, really. But first thing that comes to my mind, we've been playing for a year and we still don't have a Transcendence Hero, so let's go ahead and see what's going on. Things we need to know, has it really been a year? I doubt it, because if we look here, you can see it's level 128 VIP 4. So we spent a little bit of money. We're level 128. So I don't know if that year is probably an exaggeration. I don't think it's going to be a full 12 months to be level 128. Because, well, we're VIP 4 as well, right? I think it's, I think it's probably been a little bit less than that. Let's go take a look at the heroes, though. And there it is. An E5 Garuda... And an E1 Anosuke. That's terrifying, man. That is not very much progress at all. I'll level with you. You expect yourself to build an E5 in around a month or less. So, really? I'd probably want to see a good few E5s come in here. Now, it's not an E5 every month, but. Maybe a little bit more. And you've leveled up your puppets. No. Don't level up puppets. It's a waste of resources. I don't know what you were thinking. Maybe you are like, oh, it's a nine-star hero. It's going to be strong. It's crazy. Eight-star OD. It's, you're building wide here, but these are all food. So it's okay. And yet yeah, not. You have three accounts. Okay. So you've played three different accounts over the time. Well, and which one's this one? Because this one is having a real tough time. Because this OD, you've gone and started building. You don't have other copies of OD. So he might not come up to 10 star. Heck, you don't even have the other copy to make him a 9 star. I do not know why you started pushing an OD without the copies to bring him forward. Same thing goes for the Valkyrie. You've pushed her ahead without copies. So here's one piece of advice for anybody watching. If you are going to go ahead and push heroes forwards to use as food, first of all, do not level them up. Nope, thank you. And... You really need the copies before you take them above, well, six star, really. That's the highest I would take them to. Now, in addition, we have ourselves a Flora. I'm guessing we have the copy curse here, too. Yeah, and the problem is these are both forest heroes. So we're stretched thin now in the forest faction where two heroes are asking to be fed up. And unfortunately, we do not have the forest food for either of them. We don't have the copies for either of them. So we right now have a ton of materials trapped. I bet you what happened is you got six star dummies that you were given and you just went, boom, I'm going to put one in Flora and then boom, I'm going to put one in Valkyrie. Yay, I've got two eight star heroes. But in reality, that is nothing. That is no progress at all. A hero could, might as well be five star level one, right? Eight star doesn't help you at all. It just sits there wasting food. Now, fortunately, the regression update exists, so if you did want to go ahead and convert these, you could do, but you've got no soul symbols. And that's another problem. To get soul symbols, we're going to need profit orbs and heroic summon scrolls. So let's go see how we're doing for scrolls. 73. Where are your scrolls, buddy? What has happened? And so, yeah, Hawkeye said, okay, I need to keep copies and I need to get more food. Yeah, I did get a lot of six-star puppets. Okay, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So before you go ahead and start building someone up to eight-star or even higher than that, you want to make sure you've got the five copies you need to make them ten-star. You need one for nine-star and two additional ones for ten-star, plus the two to make them six-star. Never start pushing people up until you've got the copies of that hero to do that with. Because when you do that, I mean, look, this Anosuke, for example, he wants a nine-star hero put inside him, right? And uh, humorously, you have dummies. So here's, it's happened on a bigger scale as well. We have bigger heroes that are wanting to come up that you've started building that you don't have the copies of. You've built an Anosuke without having the nine Anoskes needed to E5 him. It's exactly the same things. And you need to save. I had a lot of the problems before watching you. That's, that's it then, yes. We have here a chronic, twitchy-fingered player. This is one of the most common 
mistakes a lot of people make when they don't involve themselves in the community. They don't get into the habits of playing the game. They're just going, boom, I'm making a hero. I'm going to make a hero. I'll make a hero. It's a quite a fun way to play the game, to be fair, if you don't realize the context of what's good practice. But honestly, the thing that concerns me, if we go back to it, is these heroic summon scrolls. 73. I think you're opening these when it's not a heroic summon event. And I think you're opening them when it is a heroic summon event, but just all of them. That's not a good move. What you want to do is save as many of these Heroic Summer Scrolls as you can for a really good event to come along. And then when it does, you can then cash it in. You will find with the Transcendence Home event, if you use scrolls, you will probably get an artifact for free. Unfortunately, you have no scrolls, so you can't do that. So what I would recommend for you to do is save like a thousand heroic summon scrolls. And that might seem crazy to you. You're like, what? They're just going to sit there in my bag? Yes, because eventually when a heroic summons event does come along and you cash them in, you will get so much more progress for them. It may feel like you're stopping yourself in the short term, but in the long term, the progress you make is way more worth it. It's going to be so beneficial for your account. And you said, yep, you open them a lot. That sounds good. I'll start saving. It's the same thing, bro. Profit orbs. Look at this. That says zero. I know for a fact. Every time you get a profit orb, you are running around like a kid who's just got that dollar to go to the candy shop. And you're like, woo, let's go. Let's get a five star. And you are throwing it in the profit tree. So when the profit tree event does come along, you haven't got any. Bro, it is, it's, it's Sky Labyrinth this week, right? So it means he's going around here and He's getting profit orbs from the Sky Labyrinth. I, he, like, he's gone and done this. He's smashing in the Sky Labyrinth, getting profit orbs, and then going, yippee, I've got some, and then immediately opening them. What are you doing? Last week's event, did you not read it? Did you not go to the cool events and see it said, congratulations if you open 80 profit orbs this week? You get a load of cool stuff, or 300 profit orbs as it was, you get a load of cool stuff. Does that not incentivize you to save the profit orbs for these incredible events? Well, it should. And that's what I want you to do moving forwards. Again, if you're a new player watching this video for the first time, there's my message to you. Save profit orbs and save heroic summon scrolls because it's such a simple way to make really good progress. And everything you see here is a symptom of just, oh, got to do it now. Got to do it now. And you say, yeah, you really need to start saving everything. And it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's that simple. It's just save, save, save. And I think it comes from like the video gamer mentality of, okay, let's use my stuff now. But grinding and saving up and then cashing in that patience that comes with saving is something that honestly, I love idle heroes for teaching me, right? So this is brilliant. Now, looking at all of this, it's, it's kind of wild because I want to turn around to you and tell you that... This is unsalvageable. This is terrible. But that is not true for any account at all. There are loads of things we can do here to move forwards. But it all starts with 300 heroic summon scrolls and a big load of profit orbs. If you can, I want you to get some soul symbols. And those soul symbols will allow you to undo heroes that you've began to build up. So you go into here, you use them, and it will allow you to get your food back as well as the copies of the hero. So for example, if you got this Eloise, you'd get the six stars back and the five stars. That means you can free up the Eloise copies so that you can save them for later, but then get the food back. And with that food, we can go ahead and shove it into someone like a Nosuke who's demanding to be given a nine star and eventually ten stars. But that's not really advice you need immediately because you have nine star puppets and you have this 10 star queen ready to go, ready to be used as food. The Anosuke just needs Anosuke copies. So the other piece of advice is build heroes like Anosuke, like Garuda, like Eloise, like Penny. When you get the copies, my dude, when you get the copies, you should start saving hero copies the same way we want to save scrolls and profit orbs and everything to find out who we have. And you want to know the best way you can save hero copies? It's with chests. Look how empty this is. Hawkeye, I bet you every time he gets a five-star chest, he opens it immediately. Now, every five-star chest you own is a potential five-star hero. The more you collect, the more selection and choice you have. Think of it as a coupon that you haven't cashed in yet. The moment you go to the kiosk and cash in that coupon, it's locked in 
and that's bad. If instead you keep the chest, it could still be any hero you want. So by saving up chests, you can see which heroes you're getting given from events and from openings and be like, oh, okay, okay. So I picked up four Eloise copies from events. Well, good thing I saved those five chests because with those five chests, I can now make an Eloise to E5 because that's five plus four. On the other hand, you might not get four Eloise copies. You might get four copies of a Nosuke. And then you're like, oh, okay, I've got four copies of a Nosuke. Good thing I saved those five chests. I can now make E5 a Nosuke. And it's by using chests as wild tokens, as just this can any five star I want, you're able to really encourage your account to go for certain heroes. But by opening chests immediately, you're really hurting yourself because you're forcing it in one direction, which means if, for example, you're like, okay, I'm going to go and get Eloise this time, or oh, I want to go get Penny this time, you're spreading all your chests out and you're not saving them up, which means when you finally do get to a point where you're now just three Anosuke copies away from an E5 Anosuke, you don't have the chests to build him. And that that's really sad. That's It means we could have an E5 Anosuke right now, because I bet you, you haven't done that. And you said, haha, and yeah, I'll save relics. Wait, 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 wait. You don't save relics? Wait, what do you spend relics on? What are you buying with relics, bro? Oh, no, that's... No, 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 no. What What do you mean, save relics? There's only one thing worth buying with relics. And that's, that's, that's these, right? Artifacts. Please tell me that, that you, you don't buy these. If you've bought heroes with relics, that's nightmare absolute nightmare because heroes you can grab really easily for free artifacts cost a lot of money so you want to save up 400 relics to buy them yes lol i do sometimes no 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 you don't you did never again swear this to me now hawkeye that never again you will ever pull a relic for a hero shard. Never. Because that is sin. And I don't mean go in here and buy artifacts for 100 either. Fuck these artifacts and forget these skins. Don't you dare buy a skin. The only thing you will ever spend your relics on is artifacts. Except for this one. You dare buy a wildfire torch. I'm going to find where you live and I'm going to slap you. If you get all the way up to 400 relics and you buy wildfire torch, you are, you are gone. You are dead to me. In fact, I want you to get to 400 and then keep going. I want you to try and get as many artifacts as you can to help this account. Because artifacts are cool and they make your heroes more powerful. So let's go see what artifacts you have, and hopefully, they're good. Ah! What? Oh, oh no! How? How is that the artifact I see first? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Where did that come from? No, 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 no. Please tell me that came from Bond Radio. Please, for the love of all things holy, tell me this came from Bond Radio. Because this artifact is garbage. Oh, that's the best thing. Content makes itself. I could not have asked for a more funny artifact to be on this Garuda. I bet there's people at home wedding themselves about the irony that that is right there. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, and then it's just Nail of Destiny. No way. The only artifact. Oh, a demon bell. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Demon bell. Praise be to whatever god there is in this world. This man has a demon bell. He's got a magic source. But why is a demon bell on Eloise? She doesn't even need it. She needs defense, bro. She's a tank. She gets hit and she blocks and she survives. And you thought, you know what? I'm going to let her get more active skills, bro.
To be fair, I don't even know if you have a defensive artifact. Where's your damage reductions? Oh, here they are. It's not even upgraded. Plate of Courageous. No, that's getting bonked on Eloise to give her HP and damage reduction. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's gear on the puppets. Jesus. No, why did you put armor on the puppets? It's not even good. They're useless. Have you read their skills? They don't have any. They're terrible. Bro, give the torch to Eloise. Yeah, potentially. It's actually quite good on her. Which pays me- No! What? Holy damage skills! No! That's like one of the worst stones in the game! Dude, why would you go with that one? Oh! No, 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 no! Please, why? I did- oh. Attack! Crit! HP! All wonderful things to have! And you chose skill damage? Skill damage? Oh, you can change it? I don't want to, because you've got no gold and you've got no dust. It's it's painful. You know, I'll convert once, and I bet you we'll get an instant upgrade. HP effect of being healed. Tanky Garuda. Man, it's not as good as I wanted. I want I want I want I want big. HP but not what I want. Let's go again. Speed HP, come on. No. Yeah, there we go. Crit, crit attack. That's better. Damage, damage, damage. Oh, much better than holy damage. Freaking skill damage. It's still not the best, but it's better. Oh, oh my goodness me, dude. This is wild. Oh, okay, okay. I've got to go see his guild tech. Let's have a look at this stuff. Guild tech? Wait, what? Bro. What are you doing? Why? Why are we... You have one E5. One. You have one powerful hero. And it says warrior. So you thought, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's upgrade a bit of priest, a bit of assassin, loads in ranger because Anosuke, a little bit of mage too, and then, oh fine, we'll put a bit in warrior as well once we're at it. You know what this is? This is an account. I bet you... I be oh yeah yeah you definitely have you ever Hawkeye pressed the plus button up here have you ever pressed that button give me just a flat yes or no have you ever exchanged guild coins for guild solidus yeah a lot all right here we go beginner mistake Number 17, always put your guild coins in guild tech. Solidus is a trap. This is bad. Don't go yippee, I'll grab myself a penny. What you say is, oh god no, this is, this is bad. I shouldn't go in here. I should be upgrading all of my skills like HP, attack, crit, block. You know, the things that make your heroes do good and stuff. Instead... You're thinking, nah, 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 I'll just buy some hero copies. And you know what? I'd, I'd have respect if you actually had heroes on the back of this. But you don't. Instead, it's just a mess. It is just utter, utter bollocks. Ah! Just no. <sighs> Seal land. What's the best you've managed? Nine. Nine? Bro, I bet your Garuda can just slap this. I'm just gonna... No, she, no, she can't. Right. Come on. If I put people in... Is she really that rough? Is this really what not having guild tech is gonna do to us? She's void one.
There we go. Right. That's more like it. Oh, and then we get defeated immediately on 11. Well, I've got you one more seal, lad. But dear lord, put your guild tech in that hero, please. Now, next thing. We have Namine. Or Nimian. Level 166. It could be higher. It's all maxed on the auras. Now here comes the real doozy. What are the runes? You ready, chat? Mm, no! Arr! Okay, 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 okay. Look, bro. Look, bro. Bro, bro. HP. Attack. Speed. Speed, all right? HP and attack matter so much more when you're playing against the computer than speed does. You will always go first against the computer. Speed matters in endgame, like way deep into seal land when that stuff's crazy fast, or in PvP. This account probably has lost all hope in PvP, I'll be blunt. And against the computer, you don't need that speed. So to go to the monster and put 30 in speed? Bad. Do not do this. You want to get these upped, man. You want to upgrade this stuff ASAP. Let's go with HP and attack. Let's get them leveled up because that's going to massively improve the performance of your team. No joke. You want to get further in game modes? Get these up because the fixed attack... A fixed HP that you get from this is huge. And then it's the same. If we go back, take a look at the guild. You go to the guild tech, the stats that you get from this is huge. And you'll start to realize that the whole reason you're not able to kill stuff is because your heroes just aren't being given the bonuses from other things in the game. This is not a simple collect heroes, build them to E5. It's collect heroes and upgrade them, right? It is make them more powerful. And you do that through monsters, through guild tech, through skins, through the Celestial Island. There are so many ways. And you've neglected all of them. Tower of Oblivion, where are we at? We're not even stuck on a Mim wave. It's just King Barton and friends. Okay. Well, Hawkeye. What the frick is that? Bro. That is... You just put signs everywhere? It's not even pretty! It's- it's missing buildings! Look at all these buildings! That we just haven't built- Dude! The new one! The Adventure Association! You've not even built it! Ah! Build the buildings, dude. You could get so many free resources from just doing that, right? And then going in here, and then you go back. It's gonna go on the adventure. Do you ever do you do that? You, you're not even on an adventure right now. What? What? You should, what? Why can I see a map and not a ship? Ah. Uh. Have you just been clicking Idle Master and thinking, why am I not making any Celestial Island progress right now? Dude, you need to go relaunch the ship. It's been sat in dock for ages. There's no icebergs out here. Your ship's not going to sink. Just go away and go on an adventure. No, I'm trying to figure out what I need. Anything, bro. Literally anything. Who needs, who needs six stars, right? You've got a six star chest in the bag. Looking at this. Go anywhere. I don't know. Go to Fortress or something. You're already split thin. You know what? No, Mickey's going to get fed to OD. So, oh, I don't know. Forest. You need Forest six stars for the Flora and the Valkyrie. Let's go to Forest, okay? So when you go in here, go to the Adventure Mode. Go to the, what is it? The Magical? Not No, not that one. Don't go for the nine stars. Not that one. The, the No, no, not that one either. The Freddy Island. Yes. Let's go meet Freddy. And let's get ourselves some six-star forest puppets. Oh, my lord. Right, okay. Summary of this account. Just please, bro, start saving resources. Start putting the resources you have saved in the correct places. And um, go watch some videos if you've got the time. If not, keep pussyfooting around and go wild, right? Because 
if you're having fun, you're having fun. Just one final tiny point. When you open a core of transcendence and you get yourself a transcending sphere, please, 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 please get stellar shards. These guys right here do not by any means get the crystals of transcendent. Do I make myself perfectly clear? Because this will improve the power level of your Garuda and all her friends. It won't be any benefit if you pick up a Transcendence Hero. An excellent Hawkeye. This is brilliant. So save and use your resources wisely. Now, you thought that account was wild. Prepare to see the complete opposite. I couldn't have picked two accounts that were more different. This is fully free to play. I mean, 100% zero pennies. And it's level 279. We're talking years, years, years old. And boy, is this account the most insane free-to-play account I've ever seen. And I say that having seen Heisenberg's, which I thought was the maddest. But no, this takes number one. Say hello to Toshi Rima. Nearly 10 billion gold. 9.5 with 96,000 gems. That is ridiculous. However, let's look at the heroes. You know what? No, let's not. Bag. 1.7 million crystals, so that's good, with half a million stellar shards. So our friend here is hopefully using stellar shards. We've got some master toolboxes. We've got 120 soul symbols. We've got enough ace skin vouchers to buy a skin, and look at all this star spawn cores. They're coming over nicely. And 400,000 Stardust. Yo. Look at the Solidus. One point seven million guild Solidus. Dude. 13,000 Profit Blessings. 773 orbs. Dude. That was an AMB for free last week. Please tell me you cashed in 300. And if you did, that means we had a thousand orbs. Whoa, he did. He had 320. Yo, so you had over a thousand orbs going into last week's event. No way. Of course, I think I opened them for you. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. But you did tell me. Yes, no. And then we've got 1,700 scrolls. I, I, I can't wait. What else are we looking at? Half a million dragon scales. <sighs> What's the other crazy stuff? 41k artifact essence. You better have a load of splendid artifacts, buddy. And 3,616 wishing coins. You know how that last account was twitchy fingered? Say hello to I can't let go, right? This guy is holding on to every resource for dear freaking life. If I go to the arena and I go to the arena shop... We can buy a whopping 567 profit orbs. You know how our buddy earlier was spending every profit orb he got? This guy, he just can't get rid of them. What are you doing? Use them. Use them, my dude. Because look, if we go across to the guild, even guild Solidus, you can go to the shop. And you can just buy so much food, reset, so much food, reset, so much food, reset. You can have so many nine stars and ten stars. So given all of that information, I hope your account has a ridiculous number of E5s. Shall we see? Nope. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them. Eleven E5s. You've been playing. For the best part of four years. And you have 11 E5s. And enough food to probably double that number. 
because take a look at the hero shards. We have 3,733 four stars. We have 81 five stars. And when it comes to copies, we are not sure either. This man is sitting on six drakes right there. We got five Sherlock's, four Ithacas, five Delisiums, five Anoskes. We are stacked. My man just has sitting around nine Garuda copies. And we go to his heroes. There is not a single Drake in sight. We have Amon-Ra, we have Carry. There's a Garuda already built. There's a Rogan right there. When it comes to copies, just sitting here, he's got three Drakes and he's got a nine star. We could have E5 Drake. Bro, E5 Drake. This is purely free to play. Imagine if you got all of this by playing the game and you just said, oh, you know what? I've got five, five nine star puppets and you're not using them. Drake's next on the list. Bro, you put him on the list and you cross him off as fast as it comes. You've got so much gold. What's your spirit? If your spirit's zero, what are you doing? No, he's got four billion. Dude, what do you mean he's next on the list? Do it right now, you donut. You can build so many. Why have we got a Sigmund? A Sigmund? I'm mad at you right now because you've not made mistakes. You've just done nothing. You've done everything right, but then forgotten to play the game. You've basically, you've caught every single Pokemon, trained them all up, and then not beaten the Elite Four. What are you doing? There is so much food here. There is so much potential. Toshirima. Build whatever you want. Another Rogan. Swap it. Swap Garuda to another Rogan. Go ahead and build a Drake. Build everything. What are your artifacts? I've got to see this man's artifacts. You know what? We're going to go look in the Celestial Island. We're going to check at them in here. What have you got? Splendid Punisher, Splendid AMB. No way have you been grinding for four years that you only have that. There's no... Wait, is that a... Exclusive Orange Artifact Selection. Wait, what? You get to pick? How old's this? I've never seen that before. This is must... This must be ancient! When do you get that? That's wild! What else are we looking at here? The actual artifacts. We've got seven magic sources. Where's all your stuff? A and B, splendid. Punisher, splendid. You've got a melodic string. We've got a candy bar. Glittery antlers cane. Kiss a ghost. Echo of Death. Where's all your... Right, okay, there's two demon bells. There's a crown. Okay, this is starting to make sense. So you've picked up most of what you can free to play. I think you could have got way more. Oh, no. I didn't check relics. That's where his artifacts are. This dude has five artifacts in relic form. If you want them all to be demon bells, that's going to take you five months to cash them in. Dude, you can't sit on these things. Mainly because it takes a month for this to reset. 2,000 relics? Toshirima. What are you doing? Please tell me you use your guild coins. What? Dude! Look at it, it's so beautiful! Everything maxed apart from Priest. And yet... What are you doing? Exalted, exalted, revered, revered. Oh, bro. Toshi Rima. Who do you want? You can have anything on this account. Anything indeed. Look at all these five-star chests. 
He can build any hero he wants. All these light and darks. Any hero. And yet you don't. You just don't. You've got 21 cores. How are you hoarding them? Oh. This account is the biggest free-to-play bubble I've ever seen. Someone needs to pop it. I don't even want to be the person to do it. Because it just feels wrong. Because, with all seriousness, chat, you can say what you will about this account, but we all kind of like it, right? Isn't it just satisfying? Isn't it almost like a work of art? This guy has 10 nine-star puppets. 10. Five darks, five lights. I don't know where the frick they came from, but he's got them. It is just pure filth. There are probably some people doing disgusting things to Kleenex tissues right now over this account. It is beautiful. And you know what? It's disgusting at the same time. You have reset in two days. And then you'll make an E5 Drake for the 10 star monthly quest. Bro. I'm going to be real with you. You absolutely probably. Wait, 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 wait. Shut the front door. You've not even done your fusions for this month. Don't give me that crap. You've still got five nine stars to make. Dude, are you aware that it's been a month? Has a month just disappeared for you? Make them now. Don't give me that I'm waiting for reset crap. You haven't even done it this month. What are you doing? Four weeks have just passed Toshi Rima by and he doesn't even know. He doesn't know he's not done the fusions for this week. He was like, oh, I've already done them. No, you haven't. It's nearly the end of the month that you're waiting to end that you've not even started yet. Ah, I know you've got 3,000 force. Loss. Just build the bloody trait, dude. Build all the food and go nuts. Look at this fodder we've got as well. We've got so much crap. Bleaker, King Barton, get in the bin, feed him. This account is wild, bro. Oh, oh, I can't even. I'm just, I'm just triggered. I'm so broken by this. <sighs> Toshirima, just, just go nuts, dude. Go nuts, go nuts, go nuts, go nuts. And they were made for turning the lights on and fodder. That's fine. I'm not moaning. I'm just telling him to use them as fodder. They're sat there. You can build Drake right now. You've got a bunch of 10 stars. I'd happily use like three of them as food. You probably have 10 star puppets as well. And you've got all these nine stars just sat there. You need to build five nine stars yourself anyway. And you can just go ahead and build a ton of them to either be imprints or build up your Drake. Just make so many E5s, please. Just go nuts. Just complete your seal lands. Get all this stuff in. Because the funny thing is, if you build the E5s, the glory challenge is going to give you stuff as well. Because you're going to get a 9 star for building an abyss. You're going to get a 9 star for building the dark. And you're going to get a 9 star for building the light. So you're going to get food back anyway. In fact, since the glory challenge came out, you've not even 10 star a light or dark. I don't even know if you've ever done that on this account. Well, you must have done to get these Amon Ra's and carries, but they must have happened years ago. Dude! Build your heroes! Oh, guys, I can't, I can't. Tosh, Tosh, that's all I can say. My advice is play the game. Build Drake. Focus on the seal lands you want to focus on. Build stuff that is going to benefit this sword flash that's going to allow her to go nuts in game modes. If that means that you go to the cloud island and you go ahead and you look at your tenants and you give her tenants, do that, right? 
You've got your Fiona, E5 her. You've got your Inosuke, E5 him. Build some 10 stars, imprint away, go nuts. In fact, why is your Sherlock in here when it should be Halora? Because that's going to give way better stats. Then upgrade your buildings. Look, you've got all these resources. Click the freaking button, dude. Make this Halora, make your sword flash go. Go zoom zoom, right? Oh, bro. So much progress. No, no, don't use Halora as a second homeowner. Use her as a tenant. You don't need a second home. Second homes are overrated, right? You just pay loads of tax on second homes. Just have one home and make the sword flash blast, right? Ah, oh. that said, you could totally do Abyss Seal Land. For real. You could actually do Abyss Seal Land right now because you can absolutely build a 9-star Ignis and an E5 Ignis and you're bound to find some artifact combination that will work. So maybe do that. Pick a path. You have so many. You are literally stood not at a crossroads, but a freaking roundabout, Toshirima, with paths going in every which watch direction. Just choose and walk. And eventually, you'll return to the roundabout and you will walk again. This dude has one and a half crystals of transcendence. So he's getting there, right? One and a half million. There could be another transcendence hero in a few months' time. The guy's sitting on 21 cores, man. <sighs> What's the star spawns? Oh my god. They don't look that bad. We got Trevor, we got the Abyss one leveled up. That's pretty good! Wait, 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 wait. Rangers 50? Darks 40? No. Fix that. We want Assassin 50 and then Light 40. Correct that, my dude. But either way, oh, this account is wild. And oh my god, we got the, the Shadow one at 40 as well. Whilst you're at it, I don't know, go for the Spirit of Nature or something. Or maybe the Mage. Yeah, it, 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 it's. Ugh. I can't. I can't. Toshirima, I need to stop or I'm going to pop. And this video has gone on long enough. Either way, come to us with advice, you two. Your accounts are so different. It's mind-blowing. Hawkeye uses everything and ruins his own progress. Toshirima hoards everything and makes no progress. It's like one of you is driving a sports car with no fuel. The other one of you can't get the fuel inside the sports car because you've drank it all yourself thinking it's water. Like, it, it, and so you both can't move your cars. One of you's got all the fuel... The other one's in the car with no gas at all. It's just wild. I, I just... I'm... Uh, uh. <sighs> if only you two could come together and just find a, just a, a common ground. Don't swap accounts. If you swapped accounts, that would be carnage, but... Ugh. God. How the other half live, huh? There's a whole spectrum. And I've just found both ends of it in one video. I'm done. Happy idling, guys. I'll see you in the next one.